thank you for joining us for our devotional time this morning. As I've been waiting in, in this anxious time trying to figure out how we would do devotion today, uh, I was drawn to the book of Colossians, where Paul writes to the church at Colossus in chapter 1, starting with verse 3, he says, We always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you, because we have heard of your faith in Jesus Christ and of the love you have for all God's people. The faith and love that spring from hope stored up for you in heaven and about which you have already heard in the true message of the gospel that has come to you. In the same way, the gospel is bearing fruit and growing throughout the whole world, just as it has been doing among you since the day you heard it and truly understood God's grace. You learned it from Ephesus, our dear fellow servant, who is a faithful minister of Christ on our behalf, and who also hold us in your love in the Spirit. As I was reading that, I was thinking about, you know, in these days we are challenged. Uh, as we face COVID-19 or the coronavirus, we're socially isolated, we're separated from the people in our normal situations. But how we respond in faith to be an encouragement it's interesting, Paul says here, he says, I have heard of your faith. Well, in this case, for those of us at St. Mark and many people around this community, we have seen your faith. We have lived among you and seen our faith as a, as a group and as individuals. And you know, the interesting piece is when that faith happens, it starts bearing fruit because of the love we have for others and the love that ultimately it, that it comes from, the love for our Heavenly Father. The, uh, these days, let me ask you, how is it, are you being engaged in your faith? Uh, as you're separated and you have more time, are you stopping to read? Are you stopping to pray for somebody else? One of the ways that you can bear fruit is to be encouraging to other people, to call them, to write them, to pray for them. The, uh, we have a couple of people that I know that are already in our congregation writing notes of encouragement to people. I myself have received several calls or, uh, from somebody checking on me. You know, it's encouraging when all of a sudden somebody says, hey, I just wanted to check on you, John. I wanted to check on you and Kay. Well, when you do that, you're showing somebody your faith and you're showing them the love of the Heavenly Father. The, um, I want you to take this moment to engage when the panic rises in you in you or you get a little frustrated or maybe you're just stir crazy stop and call somebody stop and pray for somebody the uh, Paul says in verse 9 of this he says for this reason since the day we heard about you we have not stopped praying for you and we continually to ask God to fill you with knowledge of his will through all the wisdom and understanding that the Spirit gives so that you may live a life worthy of the Lord. Please Him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God. Listen to this, and it says that you are being strengthened with all the power according to His glorious might, so that you may have great endurance and patience, giving joyful thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in this inheritance. Yes, I know the cat's wandering around. You might have seen him in the video. Okay. But as you stop and do that, allow yourself to encourage those around you to grow in that faith so that others may see and experience that peace. Those are my words of encouragement for you today. Let me pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your words from Paul. Help us to grow in strength and knowing the love of Christ and help us to share that love that the world may see that we are children of the Most High God, and that He loves us, and we love them. Amen, and God bless.